Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than two minutes. Simple, fast, and fun. Today we're talking about epitalin, what it's for, and its potential benefits. All this and more in less than two minutes. What is epitalin? Epitalin is the lab-made version of the polypeptide epitalamin, which is naturally made in the pineal gland in the brain. It's known for its anti-aging properties, stress reduction, and disease prevention. So what are its benefits? Epitalin helps slow down the aging process by increasing the natural production of telomerase, which is a natural enzyme that helps cells to keep multiplying and make telomeres. Telomeres are the protective parts of our DNA found at the ends of our chromosomes that help keep our chromosomes organized. This in turn decreases cell death and extends cell lifespan. Epitalin also acts as an antioxidant that eliminates free radicals that are responsible for damaging and killing cells. Free radicals, simply put, are unstable atoms that can damage cells, causing illness and aging. In turn, epitalin plays an important role in helping to suppress cancerous tumor growths. Epitalin also restores and normalizes melatonin levels in older people who have lost some pineal gland function due to aging. Melatonin is a hormone your brain makes in response to darkness. It helps with sleep and your sleep-wake cycles. This is useful to those looking for more restful sleep. So how do you use this? Epitalin can be used as a starting therapy to help DNA repair or as an antioxidant. It can also be given as a standalone therapy twice a year for cell protection, improving cell resistance, and stopping cell death. Some healthcare providers dose epitalin intermittently along with other scheduled peptide therapies. The peptide is injected into the muscle, also known as an intramuscular injection. There are possible side effects, including redness, itching, or swelling at the injection site. And as always, you should tell your healthcare provider about any side effects you think you may be experiencing. You can find out more information at peptides.com, that's peptides without the D, where we're tying all the peptide information for you in one place. Again, thanks for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. If you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media. Have a happy, healthy week.